Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest round from Avocado Zala, who uh, uh, titled it Intensify Forward Batteries, I Don't Want Anything Getting Through. Which, uh, you know, Star Wars quote. Uh, Zala likes to use uh, f uh, film quotes especially for his uh, uh, for the titles of rounds he sends me. And it's, uh, it's appropriate because there is going to be a lot of uh, firepower in this round because it is five Jim Cold districts and I think a desert Zaku or possibly Zaku Cannon but yeah so Zaku Cannon that was easily answered and that is I'm not sure what that is over there ooh um so not oh it's a Gim Camuff yeah okay but yeah so there is uh the five Jim Cold districts with the one of the fastest firing machine guns in the game and yeah it's that if they act, if they can get to the point where they're focusing fire, especially on raids, those whatever they are focusing on will melt. Uh, well, case in point, yeah, that's dead, and that was a good tackle, and a successful one at that. Teammate was ready to follow up, killed the enemy, and all of that gives all uh, time to reload his uh, uh, reload his machine gun. So it is, yeah, it's a really good machine gun. It is. Uh, Ah, really strong, and the the Jim Colt districts actually uh, gave me a hard time in the rank matches a couple of times, just because, yeah, if it focuses on you, you are in trouble. Especially since there's a lot of raids going around in there. If you're having trouble, if you're having trouble playing the raid game in ranked matches or any other, you know, brawl, you may want to consider something with enough uh, uh, firepower to, uh, you know, take out legs easily, like th uh, the Jim Colt districts. Ooh, and the enemy team has taken both of the uh, uh, checkpoints in the center. That's not great. Uh, really need somebody to grab one of those if possible, because, yeah, just being locked out of the center can really... Uh, well, that can get you pushed back to your base, which can be kind of bad. Although, getting everything into, uh, into a uh, narrow space, you know, coming up on you at your base... That could actually work in a team like this's favor, so we'll have to see how that works out, but it's a possibility. Uh, 1575 to 2375, not a huge difference uh, in a... Uh, pretty sure it's a 300 group. Might be a 250, but yeah, not a huge difference. It's uh, definitely, uh, you know, def it's, it's winnable easily. But right now, okay, grenade launcher's ready. Uh, in GBO1, since I like to talk about GBO1, the Cold District uh, had pr one of the best machine guns in that game as well. It didn't fire as fast as this does, but it fired fired faster than anything else in the game. Basically, they kind of moved all the other machine guns up so that they were in line with the original Jim Cold District's machine gun, and then, uh, and then improved that further for GBO2. But... Uh, uh, the only, like, significantly, like, positive change that, uh, I can think of that the, uh, Jim Cold Districts had, uh, compared to the, uh, uh, GBO2 version is the grenade launcher, and that, I believe, had two rounds before it needed, uh, reloading, so. Kind of fairly substantive ready-up time, so not a huge difference in the long run, but it, w it probably would get you a couple shots faster here and there. But, let's see, nice bright colors on that camo. And good job uh, to uh, uh, Zala holding his position until it was time to tackle. Just really nicely timed there. Um, this fight at the base, though, is kind of, yeah, kind of uh, not going in his team's favor. I think they made up a little bit of the difference between the two scores, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it, it can be hard to attack uh, somebody at their base, which is... Uh, why I was saying it might actually be to their advantage to get pushed back. Doesn't look like they're gonna, though, because uh, while uh, while Zala and a couple other people were pushing the enemy team back to their base, his team took advantage and got them both checkpoints in the center. So We'll have to see how that works out. Sorry, just... Uh, ah, it's not that late, but still, uh, still, just like I said, the first week my mom was in the hospital, I've been running back and forth all week, so... Ah, apologies. I am just kind of, kind of, uh, worn out and brained out, but it'll get better. A uh, slight, uh, weapon swap flood there, I believe, because, yeah, I've, I've done that myself. And, let's see, try, yeah, 
at some point when there's just too much of a uh, traffic jam uh, with your own team, there's nothing to do but uh, just try and flank. Unfortunately, if nobody decides to come along with you and the entire enemy team decides to turn their attention, that puts you in a really bad position, because you'll be the only thing there for them to shoot at. So, that is why Zala is pulling back now, and that is, uh, yeah, the other, the rest of the his team seems to all be trying to get that one Gim Camo for the, while the uh, entire enemy team is trying to get him and this one other person, and just got one of them. So, his team could really stand to group up a little bit, honestly, I think, but uh, again, they were just having the problem that when they were grouped up, even without all of them being there, they were kind of getting in each other's way. In the long run, though, they are making the best of it, because uh, uh, pushing the enemy team back to their base seems to be letting them focus fire in the way that I thought getting pushed back to their base would, because they have made up most of their uh, lead, so... Eh, or the enemy team got a couple more kills, and it's back to about where it was, but... Yeah, gonna be a fair amount of back and forth, I think. But yeah, machine gun... Uh, uh, machine gun gyms... They're fun, too. They uh, have maneuver armor and one melee swing, so... Yeah, they definitely have their own feel as a general. So, it's... it's... it's fun. I, I like... I like different styles for different mobile suits. I don't think all generals, all raids, all support should all play exactly the same. I, I don't see the point in, ha in having, you know, hundreds of mobile suits in this game, which I'm pretty sure it does now if they all play the same, so, yeah, just, sometimes just having, having things that have weird skill sets or, you know, lack one of the major, you know, common pieces of, uh, skill set for their category makes up with it with something unusual, I I'm all for that. Let's see, yeah, that just, the, the concentrate, uh, the enemy team is able to focus a, a little bit better than I was, uh, giving them credit for back at their base, so, Looks like one person is pushing in on their own. No, there's, there's two or three that uh, just, yeah, they could they could stand to coordinate just a little better. But as far back as the enemy team is, this support fire could be the right move. Let's let's see. And once again, they're close to catching up. So if the support fire does catch a couple enemies, this this could be the uh, deciding point for the round. So we will see how that goes. But. I'll tell you, a, a setup like this with like five Jim Colds and, and one uh, support, I'd like to see, I'd like to see a team do that while they were on, you know, communication through either uh, PSN or Discord, just because, uh, you know, being able to coordinate that much machine gun fire, I bet you could have some fun. But yeah, okay, yep, another, uh, okay, there's a kill. Yeah, they might be able to pull it off. Okay, yeah, good assist there, and I think they just barely got it, so... Yeah, very nice. That that was, uh, yeah, like I said, Jim Cold Districts is fun, and I don't know that I've ever seen a whole team of them before. So if I have, I'm not sure I've seen a whole team win, so nicely done there. Uh, three kills, four deaths. He, he did get kind of focused down hard there when they were assaulting the base, but it worked out to the good. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And since I'm trying not to yawn into the microphone, that will bring this recording session to a close. Uh, might do some more tomorrow. We'll see what happens. You won't be able to tell the difference, because if all goes well, they should go up daily as they always have. So, uh, you know, sporks. <laughs>